Howdy, Moz fans, and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. This week, I want to tackle a question I get sometimes about the day-to-day -day activities of an SEO and what should you do after you've completed that first site audit, uh, sort of fix the problems. What does the day-to-day -day work look like? And so, you know, a lot of SEOs, especially those coming from consulting backgrounds or who join companies as in-house SEOs who've had kind of this big project-based SEO uh, work to do, find themselves struggling after that's done, right? And that typically that process is pretty straightforward, right? It's You kind of do an audit. You look at all the things on the site, you figure out what's wrong, what's missing, where are opportunities that we could execute on. Maybe you do some competitive analysis, some market analysis. You identify those fixes, you work with teams to make those changes, validate the results have been completed, and then you're sort of in this, well, do I go back and audit again and try and iterate and improve again? Now that doesn't feel quite right, but it also doesn't necessarily feel quite right to go to the very, very old school SEO model of like, all right, we've got these keywords we're trying to rank for, let's optimize our content, get some links, uh, you know, check our rankings for them, and then try and rinse and repeat and keep improving. This, this model's pr pretty broken, I'd say, uh, and, and just not reflective of the reality of opportunities that are in SEO or the reality of the tactics that, that work today, right? So, the way that I like to think about this is the audit, the, the SEO audit, right? An SEO focused audit, which is trying to say what traffic could we get, what's missing, what's broken and wrong, only works at, at the low level in the very tactical trenches of uh, a marketing process or a business process. What you really need to do is you want to be more incrementally based, but you need to be um, informed by and you need to be evolving your tactics and your work based on what does the business need right now. And so, you know, this process is about saying, what are the top level company and marketing goals overall? For everyone in the company, what are we trying to accomplish this year, this quarter, the next three year plan, right? What, what are we trying to achieve? And then figure out areas where SEO can best contribute to that work. And then from there, you're creating tactical lists of projects that maybe you're gonna positively move the needle, the right needles, right, the ones that you've identified, and then you're gonna evaluate and prioritize which ones you wanna implement first and second and third in what order, and test implement those, right? So, hey, we're, we figured out that, uh, you know, we think that um, a new blog section for this particular uh, piece of content, or we think that uh, getting some user-generated content, building up some community around this section would be terrific, or we think outreach to these kinds of publications uh, or building up our social stats in these worlds will expose us to the right people who can earn us the amplification we'll need to rank better, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, this, this, is, this is a fine process and you're gonna wanna do this, I would say, at least annually and maybe even think about it quarterly. And then from there, you're gonna take, right, all, all of this work is essentially centered on a customer profile universe, right? A universe of people, right? I've got my person X, Y, and Z here, but you know, your customer universe may involve many different personas. It may involve uh, just one type of person you're targeting that you're always trying to reach over and over again, but it probably involves also the people who influence that direct uh, subsection of your market. And from there, you can take the, hey, you know what, person Z is really interested in and consumes and searches for these types of content topics and these kinds of keywords. So we're going to uh, start by taking, you know, keyword set A or content set A and figure out our keyword list and our content list. We're going to create, launch, and promote work that supports that, right? Could be content pieces, could be video, could be some combination of those things in social media, all forms of content, right? It could be tools, whatever you want, an application. Uh, we're gonna launch that, promote it, and then work on some amplification. And then we're gonna measure and learn, which is a critical part of that process, right? I wanna not only see what are my results, but what can I learn from what we just did, and hopefully I'll get better and better at iterating on this process. And this process will work iteratively uh, right, kind of similar to our, our broken process over here or to our site audit process there. It'll work iteratively and then every now and then you should pop back up and go, hey, you know what? I feel like we've exhausted, you know, the easiest 80% of value that we're gonna get from 20% of the work on keyword set A. 
let, let's move on and go visit keyword set B now, and then let's go visit content set C. And occasionally, you're even going to want to move one step up and say, hey, you know what? Our, uh, maybe our personas or our market is changing a little bit. We want to try targeting some new customers. We're going to look at these folks over here or this guy over here and see if we can reach them and their influencers with new kinds of content and topics and keywords and that sort of thing. If your site is rocking and rolling, right, if you've completed your audit, things are just smooth sailing, then this kind of a process is going to work much better so long as it's tied to real business objectives. Because then when you achieve results here, you can point back to, hey, remember I told you these are the areas SEO can contribute to our overall goals? And now I can connect these up directly, right? The work that I, the, the metrics that I get from all this SEO stuff can tie directly to those areas, can tie directly to the business goals. And everyone from the CEO on down is going to love what you're doing for the company. All right, everyone, I hope you'll join me again next week for another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Take care.